Okay, so we're going to see how this Ego goes on this very thick zoysia. It's moist, it's damp from the morning dew, and uh, it's super thatchy, as you can probably see, which in come, uh, come springtime will give this a good lawn renovation. But until then, I'm just going to have to mow it with, with the thatch. So we'll put the Ego on to number three on both the front and the back, which is probably a tiny bit lower than what I would normally cut this with the Honda, but we'll see how it goes. Speed set in, we're gonna go on to top one, number two, and let's do this. So good. So far, that did a pretty good job. Let's continue and see how it goes as we go along. All right, so we're gonna carry on doing this other bit here. Yeah, see, that's looking good. So far, generally, I'm really liking this mower. It's impressing me. Uh, a couple of things to note. Initially, I didn't like the way the self-propelled takes quite a while to actually get up to speed, which I'll show you now. When you press the bar, you'll hear it. It's... There, now it's up to full speed. So that's a good, probably three seconds. Let's go again, ready? In. Still going, still going. Now it's up to full speed. So yeah, a good two, three seconds. It doesn't just sort of bang in, like, you know, when you do the, the Honda or, I think most other mowers actually, apart from the other Ego, that was quite slow too. It doesn't just engage and go, you know? So initially I didn't like that, but having used it for a little while now, you kind of get used to it. You just engage it a bit earlier, sort of on your turn. And actually the benefit of that is that the wheels don't engage too quickly and end up sort of te tearing up the grass and doing a little sort of wheel spin, which I find you can do quite easily with the Honda, uh, the 216. Plus these wheels are bigger and they've got more tread on them. So they're more grippy to start with. So in actual fact, having the slower self-propelled ramp up is a benefit. However, you've got to get used to it because initially it was a bit frustrating. It felt a bit slow, um, but I'm used to it now and I've kind of compensated for it. So that's good. Blade speeds are good. Um, blade speeds are good so far. Um, I haven't actually measured them correctly. I don't even know how you do that, but it seems to be cutting and ramping up automatically when needed. Cut quality is nice, um, very nice. I'd like to try it with the high lift blades. That would be good. I've got the original on at the moment. Um, yeah, so far it's been really good, a good experience. Nothing negative to say, um, which is good. I like the way this works. I thought some, somebody commented on my initial unboxing review, uh, first look thing, that they thought these should be the other way around, but I don't think it should. Like when you engage the pushing forward should be go like it is, and then that should be blade. That's how it is on most mowers, I think. And this doesn't get in your way if you don't want to use the self-propelled. This bar doesn't get in your way. You can kind of just sort of reach over it. However, I do wish, wish they had a bit of a cutout on one of the ends like the Hondas do. So you can hold that in. Let's just turn that off a sec. So you can hold that in um you can hold everything in and then when you turn and you can still hold the handles but let go of of this bar right. if you look at the way the honda does it you'll see what i mean but 
yeah, this is fine. It works, it works really well. There's no complaints really with that. Speed is super fast on the self-propelled. Um, yeah, you're kind of jogging behind it when you're at full speed. I never use it at full speed, but um, I'm normally on one, two, three, four, four. Yeah, three out of five. So five is probably a bit too quick for the speed of the blade. Too quick to actually mow a lawn because the blades can't really keep up with that. Um, I'm finding I just use it on level two most of the time. And yeah, not much else to say yet. Bag, it, it, sort of, it bags quite well. Um, I've only really been doing like quite damp, moist, moist lawns lately. So it bags as well as to be expected, not as well as the Honda doesn't have as much suction but it's a different type of blade so that's to be expected um, I'll know more about that when we get a bit more into spring slash summer at the moment lawns aren't really growing that much there's not that much to bag so um, yeah battery life is really good been really impressed with the battery life so yeah anyway let's keep mowing Grip, the chunky wheels. The other thing that's impressed me is the battery life. Um, I've got the two 12 amp hours that this kit comes with in this one, and uh, yeah, I can do this this entire property front and back, and it doesn't even drop one bar. I'm not sure how much square meterage that is, but it's pretty awkward. This lawn, it's thick and it's it's hilly. I'm using the self-propelled the whole time, and it works really well. And the batteries, yeah, they're fantastic. So that's 24 amp hours of, of lithium power mine. So there's a fair bit in there, which does weigh, it's quite heavy with everything in there, but it's no heavier than the 216. It's probably a touch lighter, but it is big like that. It's a big, big feeling mower. So you wouldn't want to be lift, you wouldn't be lifting this up and down steps for sure. Um, but yeah, I quite like a big heavy mower for my main mower, but it doesn't dig in as much as the Honda because and I'm comparing to the Honda because that's the other big one that I use, the other commercial one. The wheels are much better on this. They're thicker, they're, um, they're bigger, and they've got better tread. So the wheels on the Honda are very thin. And the weight just sort of, uh, yeah, it can leave pretty big tracks, especially in winter where it's kind of moist and damp a lot of the time. Um, so yeah, battery life is really good. So this is full speed, self-propelled. On your marks, get set. Takes a minute to get up there. So that's a brisk pace. And then, I don't know if you saw that from up there, but there is zero resistance when you want to pull it back. It's just bang, straight away. What it doesn't do is when you're pulling it backwards and you want to engage the self propelled. Oh, I did it that time. <laughs> Typical. Yeah, so you just they go and pull back, no weight, no delay, there's no, nothing's engaged, you know, it's just free to move. Although, as you can hear, when you pull this back, it's still, the motor is still engaged in some way, it's not just freewheeling. Forward is freewheeling, back it engages something. Anyway, the other good thing is you can see the batteries straight through the glass door there, the, the level indicator. Someone asked me about that as well, so you can always see how, how charged up your batteries are. Alrighty, let's go around the front, see what that looks like. Using this bad boy as well at the moment. This is a bloody good blower. Heaps of power. In fact, I'd say it's probably the most powerful. I think, handheld, battery or petrol. Nice, yeah, I like this bloke, it's good. This is the, uh, what model is this one? This is the most powerful, the LB7650E. I think I'm gonna go down onto 
level two on this one. I like this one a bit shorter. <coughs> There we go. That's always a bit of a wobbly line. <laughs> Can't see where I'm going really. Taking off so little. That one a bit straighter. Yeah, that's a bit straighter. <laughs> but yeah, that's a lovely finish. Hopefully you can see it in the camera, but that's doing a lovely finish. No stragglers, no cutting, just, yeah, smooth. As I say, it's winter here now, so the lawns aren't looking their best, but this one's not doing too bad. This is always you as well. But quality is lovely. Very happy with that. Yeah, look at the quality of that. I'm not sure if you can see it in the video, sometimes you can't, but we're looking at the quality of the cut rather than the grass at the minute. But as I said earlier, we are in autumn slash winter, so grass is looking a little bit, uh, it's not the yellow, but yeah, the quality of cut's lovely. Let's do this one now. See how this comes up. All right, so bag's empty. We're on height number, we're on height number two. I'm not sure if that'll be too short for this lawn. This particular bit. I did that one on a two. Well, let's give it a shot. Let's see what happens. realize I'm only cutting on I'm cutting on number one so it's doing a lovely job That's surprising let's go up to number two That'll be even better do its automatic ramp up there but yeah I'll probably wrap the video up there to be honest but 
quality as you can see is, is very nice, beautiful in fact, really stoked with that. Still on five bars on each battery, I've been using it for, well I've been here four hours, so a fair bit of that has been mowing, so battery life is fantastic. Um, I don't really know what else to touch on really. Height adjustment with the two wheels is fine. If it was all four wheels it would have been a pain and I probably wouldn't have bought it, but doing two is fine. Um, yeah, I reckon the high lift blade will be pretty good to try that out. I think it'll just be even a notch up, even better. Um, yeah, just, yeah, no drama so far. Super stoked with it. I guess, yeah, one thing of note is this little bit that sticks out on uh, on the bag. It sort of slides in. I'll get the, get the camera and show you. There. On the bag there's that little plate there that sticks out because when you open this it goes over that conduit which obviously has got the drive cables in for the wheels I suppose. Can you see that? So initially I thought that might be a pain in the butt but it seems to be working alright. So other than that I've been really stoked with this mower so far. It's bloody good. I haven't used the light yet, but that's because I'm not mowing in the dark. By the time it gets dark, I'm well and truly done. So yeah, peak power, it's got some good power. I'll give it that. This is more powerful than, I think, this is more powerful than any other battery mower I've used so far. It's way more powerful than the Plank, and the Plank's even more expensive. It's way better than the previous Ego, like, like hands down, next level. But other ego, the previous model that was their highest quality, highest sort of range at the time is uh, pales into insignificance, if that's the saying, compared to this beast. So yeah, this so far, it's living up to its name. Ego commercial. I'll uh, obviously need more time. I've only had it for a couple of weeks, but um, yeah, so far, so good. Nice work, ego. This is working well too, all this stuff. No dramas. Looking forward to using this heaps more and seeing how she fares. So stay tuned for more videos and I'll be doing some actual comparisons as well to some of the other battery mowers coming up when I can get my hands on them, such as the Makita, Milwaukee, AEG maybe, and whatever else I can get my hands on. So stay tuned for those because I know some folks are pretty interested to see how this compares to some of those other ones. But yeah, so far I've been really happy with this mower and um, if you can stomach the, the upfront cost, get it as the kit. If you don't mind it only going down to 20 mil, which is still lower than most battery mowers. The Honda's going to go down to 16 mil, so at four mil, I guess it makes a difference, but I've not gone down to number one yet on any lawns. Number two is the lowest. That's what I'm cutting this on. So I reckon it's fine. 25 is a bit not quite low enough, like a lot of them, but 20, pretty good. All right guys, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. And if you've got any questions about the mower, uh, let me know in the comments and I'll get back to you. Cheers, see ya.